the most wearable street style looks from Fashion Mouth. A few new jewelry pieces, the update on my red light therapy mask, some less wearable outfits from Fashion Mouth, and this week's fashion finds. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Shakura and I believe that when you feel good, you look good. So on this channel, I show you how to take fashion and use it as a tool to help you look and feel your best. So if you watch this video, you know that I love a nice, beautiful, sparkly, high quality piece of jewelry. I've showed you my pieces from Ideal before. I don't take this off, you guys. I have literally worn this almost every single day in the shower to sleep everything. I've showed you these in that video and I happen to have some more that I want to unbox and show you. So as usual, it comes in this beautifully packaged box. Such a good gift, a birthday gift. We have Mother's Day coming up in a few months. This would be perfect. So let's get into this. I'm dying to see this in person. Hey, so this is so cute. This is, oh, this is a little, a little way to store your little jewelry pieces, right? I have my earrings in this little bag that I take in and out of every day, but this is a great place to store your ideal pieces. And I think this is absolutely perfect. This is such a cute idea. Okay, this really, really makes me happy. Oh my, you guys, this is absolutely stunning. So as you know, or maybe you don't know because you're new here or you have never heard of Ideal, they have a modular design. You can lay your earrings um, from a stud and you attach parts to the stud for different looks. Last time I showed you this one where it kind of comes and hangs off of my ear and I think it's just fabulous. And last time I went for just the one to have kind of a funky look. And you guys, I get compliments on this little earring all the time. But this time I decided to maybe try one that curves around the ear. Again, it's a modular design. So I can just take these beautiful attachments, attach them to my studs that I also got from Ideal, right? and have a completely different look. I intend on, hopefully this weekend, getting an extra ear piercing. I only have one piercing in my lobe. I want another lobe piercing so that I could put these at the bottom and then put this in that second hole. How gorgeous are these earrings? And then I also got this beautiful necklace. This is the Solo 5, I believe. It is stunning. It's a showstopper. I have on three necklaces right now, but I will wear this necklace just by itself or layered with my other ideal piece. As a matter of fact, let me do that. They are 14 carat gold necklaces, labro diamonds, which we absolutely love. We love a conflict-free diamond over here, right? They are lab grown. They are just beautiful at a accessible price point. Because it is high quality materials, it won't rust, it won't turn colors, and you don't have to take it off. And if you've been following me for a while, you know at the top of the year, I said that I, well actually last year, I said that I wanted diamonds, I said that I wanted to invest in quality pieces, and Ideal is allowing me to do just that. I'm super happy to have these new pieces from Ideal. I will absolutely leave all the links to everything, Ideal pieces from last time and the new pieces now, so you can go ahead check it out. I am in love. So finally, fashion month is over and it has been quite a ride. There have been so many things happening, so many looks, so many shows. My favorite part of fashion week is always the street style. If you're not new here, you know that I am big on personal style. So though I love a good fashion show and, and reading the runway and the dramatics of the fashion show, I really love the street style. 
I get so much inspiration from how people choose to um, show up during fashion week. So, so I chose some of the most wearable looks because like we spoke about in this video, everything that you see at fashion week is not necessarily meant to be wearable. It's meant to get people um, photographed. So sometimes it is very hard to distinguish what is wearable and what is it? So let's start with one of my favorites. I really think she gets it right. This woman is almost 60 years old and has had several careers. And because she loves fashion, she made the switch over and has been doing a, a big one, okay? She has been doing so well. Though to some, this might not be wearable. We will use our debt to make it more wearable. So if you are a person that loves leopard and you love orange, though I love leopard and I love orange, I don't know that I would wear it together. I feel like she makes this look so easy. So if you are looking to recreate this bang on, straight on. This dress from Nordstrom gives you a very similar vibe. It does look a bit shorter, but it for sure gives you that um, orange, that beautiful rich orange color. Orange is too much, but you love the shape of the dress. This black dress from Totem via Essence and this beige dress from Totem via Essence gives you a very similar vibe, but a more toned down look. These are both on sale which is my love language. And of course you could go for animal print just like she did. Fax and Farfetch have a leopard option and All Saints and Sports Mats have a snakeskin option. So if you don't wanna do the orange, you could definitely do this black dress, this totem dress, and to make it a little more um, subdued and not so in your face, you can use this snakeskin underneath, right? Because orange has a way of being in your face while black is a little more subdued. But if you still think that you can't do the animal print, because I know a lot of you can't with the animal print, try this transparent black turtleneck from Anthropology, or even this one from Marcella NYC. It's a very similar look, um, but not so in your face. What I find very interesting about this outfit is that she wore kitten heels. And if you saw me unbox my latest pair of shoes in this video, you know that I spoke about um, kitten heels and how I don't feel comfortable wearing them with a skirt, particularly a long skirt, just because it gives me like church mother vibe. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I don't know how she's pulling it off and is looking extra chic. First, I thought it was because she was tall, but I looked it up. She's like 5'1", right? Um, but I'm thinking it just might be body type because I'm hippie. I have some hips. So maybe that's what's throwing the balance off. But the way that she's wearing these kitten heels with this long skirt looks very chic to me. I don't know if I can pull that off. <laughs> This is so beautiful and so classy and definitely wearable. I love everything about this. I love the color. I love the shape. I could definitely see somebody wearing this to work or church or some type of event and looking and feeling good. The simplicity in this outfit with the accessories that are a bit extra that really make me love this outfit. On top of her bob, you know when you have a good bob, when the bob is bobbing, <laughs> it can change everything. So I love everything about this. One of the biggest things you're gonna need is the dress, right? <laughs> And of course, it doesn't have to be this color. Do whatever color works for you. I found a good option at Stone, a long one, but that was in black. But I also found another one, still Stone, that was pink and it was a bit shorter, but it's still a very similar vibe. This one from Banana Republic might require some nipping and tucking just to bring the um, waist in a bit, unless you get a blazer that does that already. And at this point, we know a white blazer should be everywhere, especially with it going into spring. But this one from And Other Stories and this one from Anina Bing will give you a very similar look and bring the whole outfit together. So what I love about this outfit is that she used gold as a neutral because it is, right? And instead of going for a beige shoe or a pink shoe, I love that she instead opted for this beautiful pair of gold heels. And these from Bashley Mishka are a very good option. The heel is a beautiful detail. Ankle strap is always nice and dainty and feminine. And all together, this looks 
looks beautiful. I believe she has on a top handle bag and they look like the Bottega Sunnies with a nice beautiful brown or gold or bronze transparent pair of glasses. With this outfit, I feel like brings it to the next level. While at first glance, you may think this is not wearable because she's wearing this beautiful Dior scarf on her hair, you do in fact have to use your debt. So she was going to the Dior show, which explains the scarf in the bag with the Dior monogram. But this is a very chic look, even if you don't want to do the head start. So an A-line dress is a very easy thing to find. It's just really about finding the one that works best for you and what you like. This faux leather one is probably the best option. Put a collar shirt underneath this and it'll give a very, very similar vibe. This one is a sheath dress, but you would get a very similar vibe if you layer a collar shirt underneath this, right? It's the same, but different, <laughs> right? Just using your debt. This one from Bloomingdale's, I think, is a hit. Now, while it doesn't have straps, putting a collar shirt underneath this will give it a very similar vibe. I will have to say though that you have to be careful because if you do layer um, a collar shirt underneath this, you want it to really hold close to the body because it can be a little bulky if you get like a really baggy one, right? <laughs> but I feel like this is a very good option to recreate that look. It looks like she's wearing some lace up booties. These from Schutz would definitely work. And these from Cause, though they are not lace up boots, they still give you that pop of white underneath this beautiful black dress. I actually found a denim alternative to the dress um, at Anthropology. If you think that the black dress looked too dressy, denim has a way of being able to be dressy or formal or informal. And I feel like this denim dress from Anthropology can definitely be used in someone's debt to recreate this outfit and really personalize the look for how they want to wear it. What I love most about this outfit is not only the burgundy because we know that these deep reds and burgundy are very big right now. I love that she used the pop of blue against this beautiful rich color. That color is usually something that we would think about wearing in spring. So her putting them together just looks so different and I love how polished the whole look is. The statement jewelry one together, the coat over her shoulders, the casual sunglasses with umbrellas, <laughs> with the umbrella because it's clearly raining. She's done it all and I absolutely love this. So I actually believe in this picture she's wearing a skirt. It's a skirt leather suit. If you want to go the skirt route, this from Saks All Fifth, this whole outfit could give you a very similar vibe. You might want to change the buttons, but it gives you a very similar vibe. This one is a pantsuit if you're really not a um, skirt or a dress kind of person. And this one is also a pantsuit, but it's not leather. If you don't like leather, if you don't like um, vegan leather, pleather, whatever it is, this gives you a very similar vibe. It's still rich. It's still very on trend, but also very classic. It's just beautiful. Like I said, that blue bag against the burgundy is really a standout piece in my opinion. So this bag from Kate Spade might work out well if you're looking for that. This one from Jacques Mousse. Pauline has an option. Celine has an option. There are so many options to wear with this beautiful burgundy suit. Put your best foot forward with your statement jewelry, your earrings, and your necklace. Some really cool sunglasses. Your umbrella, cause it's part of the look. <laughs> and you are ready to go. So these are a few of the wearable street style looks that I have seen throughout the whole fashion month. But there are some looks that are a little less wearable for day to day, but just as gorgeous and that absolutely must spotlight them. Like I said, street style is definitely my favorite part of fashion week, but this week, or this month, I have to say that the street style wasn't as exciting, in my opinion, as it usually is. But there were some standout things that I did see that I'm scrolling now that you are looking at. I mean, just some really beautiful, intricate colors. 
and details and just a lot of personality. Of course, we still had a lot of the modern clean lines type of 90s vibes, right? But there was also beautiful colors. You know, color tights are a big thing and beautiful ruffles and matching tights to their gloves and just beautiful like over the top things that I love to look at. The no pants thing cracks me up every time. And I actually saw this look in person and while it looks extremely dramatic and comfortable and like cozy, it was dynamic in person. I was trying to figure out how she was gonna sit down <laughs> or how she was gonna do everything, but just watching her walk and, it, and the coat was just flowing behind her and the paparazzi was trying to get her. Like I said, it looks dynamic in the pictures and in real life, it was even more so. I feel like Janae just looked fantastic in everything this year. I feel like she just hit all the boxes. Same thing with Sai. Those are two of my favorites. We're about the same age, so I look to them very, very often to see what they're doing. And when I did see color, it was actually really nice and vibrant. So while I didn't enjoy it as much as I usually do, there were definitely some things that really made me appreciate the street style from this fashion month. So you all saw me get this red light mask in this video. <laughs> you saw me give you a little two week update in this video. And now I've been using it for a little more time and I wanna show you my results. So this is where we started. This is before I did anything to the red light or before I even used a red light, right? And as you can see, you've seen this before, I do have some hyperpigmentation. I do have some texture issues. And yeah, I feel like it looks like a normal fate. Well, I hope it looks like normal skin. <laughs> that can use some help, right? But this is where I started. And then I gave you an update about two weeks later. The top is the original. The bottom is the two week update. And you can see there's, again, not much difference, but I don't expect much in two weeks. But here is today, six weeks later. And I can only say that the biggest difference I see is brightness. Um, I do see some texture, kind of, but again, it's only been six weeks. I don't think that is a good, you know, a, a, enough time to determine if this is working or not. But I will say that my face feels brighter. In my opinion, it looks brighter, not lighter, but brighter. And I will also say that I was around a lot of people this weekend and so many people said to me, oh my goodness, you look brighter or you look healthy or I don't know what it is that I didn't do anything different. Um, so yeah, maybe, I don't know. That's the update, you guys. <laughs> Again, it has not been long enough um, for me to see or to determine if it's really worth it. And I'm going to give you an update. It just won't be every two weeks. I think that is too often. It will probably be every three weeks to a month. So yeah, that's the update. Hey girl, hey. So, okay, first of all, you guys, <laughs> I went to go get my ear pierced because I've always wanted a second hole. I've always been a little concerned about getting a second piercing because... I have like no lobe. I have pretty small ears. And I thought that I was exaggerating to myself. You know, sometimes you say things to yourself um, and you think, you know, you exaggerate things about yourself, right? I went to go get my second ear pierced or second piercing. And the lady goes to me, wow, your ears are tiny. She goes, you have some of the smallest ears I've ever seen. And then one of my ears has this weird fold in them. <laughs> it's just bad. So I was only able to get one piercing. I really want to be able to stack like, my ideal pieces for my ears. So I only got one little one. I don't know if you can see that. I got one little piercing. Because that's all that she couldn't do. I have nothing over here. Well, I have one piercing and then one over here. And I cannot believe that my ear was really, I didn't have a lot, enough lobe. And she also said I could go up my ear. But first of all, I think that's going to hurt. And second of all, I just, I just, I just can't. So 
<laughs> this one little cursing is gonna have to do. I do like the look of like a lot of diamonds. I don't, I never really wanted a lot of piercing. I just, maybe one here, maybe two or three. But anyway, this is what I got. So I have three piercings, very oddly. And hopefully I'll be able to like play around with that one piercing a little bit. We shall see. Anyway, it is 65 degrees today in New York City and it feels like 70. And everybody and their mama is out here. <laughs> We are actually about to go to Washington Square Park just to walk outside, drink my little uh, my little iced coffee just to be out because the rest of the week is going to be rainy. The question is not who's out here. The question is who ain't out here. OK, it's a lot of people, but it's a beautiful day. And yeah, let's go to Washington Square Park. <laughs> That was absolutely fabulous. It's a small little place, very casual. So if you go, you don't really have to dress up and realize that it is tiny, tiny, but amazing. The head guy that was on the saxophone, amazing. All of them amazing, but the head guy, ugh. I am literally in the middle of editing the vlog that you are watching right now and I realized that I was supposed to go and continue the search for my tote bag. That could not happen this week because I had a deadline. I had a lot of work to do. I just could not get out this week. However, <laughs> I did buy a few things from H&M that I want to show you and um, a few new body products. The summer's coming. Um, I need to get ready. I need to get my skin right, my body skin. <laughs> and I bought some things that I think hopefully are going to work out. Let me show you some body things that I got first and then I will show you the H&M stuff. So I have heard a ton about the Cherium and I just thought it was hype. And you know, it takes me a while honestly to buy into things, but I decided let me go ahead and try because I've heard so much about it. I got the vitamin C body wash. The person I was looking at got the salicylic, the salicylic acid body wash, and I don't feel like I need that. Um, I don't necessarily have back knee or anything. I just want to clear up the hyperpigmentation and make it look bright. So that's what the vitamin C is for. The glycolic acid body wash will definitely do that. It'll clear up and do what I want to do. And then with all that, this came as a set right here. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so the scrub mask for the body and also the lotion. And then to top it all off, I got a retinol body lotion. I used to have one that I used very often from Paula's Choice that I kind of fell off from using. And I thought that maybe I would try it again because retinol on the body just makes sense as I use it on my face, right? So I cannot attest to the fact that these are the best products because I literally just got them. However, I will say that I used this once and this is the body the scrub 
I use this once. I scrubbed everywhere. I put it all over my body. I let it sit for a minute or two. And when I'm telling you, I rinsed my body and it was so smooth. Okay. And I'm a person who exfoliates in the shower quite often. Nothing has done what this has done and I'm excited to keep using it. So I'm hoping because I know this works well that everything else will do the same. There's one thing that I will spend money on is something for my hair to be healthy, for my skin to look good, face or body, and good healthy food, right? Um, just because I feel like if all those things look good, you look good. And and you guys tell me if I'm tripping. I ran across this video um, on TikTok where someone asked, would you rather have the best designer closet of all time and have unhealthy hair and um, terrible skin? Or would you rather have long, healthy, beautiful hair or short hair, just healthy hair, whatever you like best? And the clearest of skin where you never have to wear makeup. You only get to wear a white t-shirt and jeans. And I very quickly in my head or said out loud to the phone <laughs> that a white t-shirt and jeans um, with beautiful hair and beautiful skin is would be the only option in my opinion. Because I feel like when those things are together and they look good, everything else just looks good. And when they aren't, like it throws everything else off. But when I looked in the comments, the amount of people that said they rather have the best designer closet was crazy to me. <laughs> now, don't get me wrong. I would like all of it. If, if all is an option, the best clothes, the best fit, I'll take all of it. But if I had to choose, I'm 100% going with my hair and my skin. 100%. And this is from a self-proclaimed fashion person educated in the, you know, in everything. But I, I don't know. You guys let me know. One person even said, I don't care about my hair. I just throw a wig on and I'll throw makeup on. And I'm just, I was shocked. <laughs> I was absolutely shocked. But maybe I'm wrong. You guys let me know because that's just like, that blew my mind. Anyway, let me show you what I got from H&M. So if you're not new here, you know that I have been losing weight. And you guys, this last 15 to 18 pounds is not budging. I need something to happen before the summer. <laughs> It's not, it's just like not budging. You guys gave me some options to get more protein in. Um, I'm definitely doing that. I'm going to talk about that in the next video. I need more protein in my diet. And yeah, but anyway, I say all that to say that I have been using cheaper brands to get me through the rest of this weight loss. So even though I probably always shop, a, you know, at cheaper brands just to like fill in the gaps, this denim outfit from H&M to me looks very, very good. Now, I don't have any expensive denim simply because of my um, fluctuation weight. So I, I can't attest to it being, you know, the best denim of all time, but it works well for me. I will also say that H&M, in my opinion, pants run small, so I always have to go up. So the top, I could always do a medium or the large, but the bottom will be a large every time. <laughs> it will be a large every single time. I told you guys about them hips, okay? But yeah, I love this together. Paired with like a bucket bag or my um, my vintage Speedy. If you're the kind of person that will wear sneakers with this, I think that would be cool too. I will just probably pair it with a pair of flats or kitten heels simply because I need that little bit of um, that little bit of femininity. I'm not much of a tomboy and I'm not that, I told you guys this before, I'm not that um, edgy. <laughs> so I need a like a little bit, at least a little bit. So I think this whole thing is cute. Like I said, for me, I had to go up a size in H&M pants. I always do, no matter what size I am. So yeah, I wanted to show you that. And then also I wanted to show you this beautiful linen suit. Again, I went up a size in the pants. <laughs> always a large but you know never have to ask and, and maybe when I lose weight maybe it'll be different but large pants always medium or large top but this I think is so good what I want to do with this is wear a brown belt this brown belt um, from heaven mayhem I think is dropping this week I know they have some more revolve so I'll so I'll put all that in the description box then this bag that I showed you guys from flattered and then the Gucci sling bags the flats that we were talking about so like a nice brown belt or even a beige belt if I could find that um, but a brown belt that clutch from flattered and the Gucci sling bags 
which neither have gotten to me yet. But I think that'd be really cute. I think that's a nice springtime outfit. Maybe Easter or something. I don't know yet. But I just wanted to show you guys those two things I got from H&M. So hopefully next week we'll be able to get back out in New York City and shop more for the tote. But for now, this is all I got. So we know it's almost spring and I've been talking about getting your closet together. And of course, I have some things to show you to help you do just that. So the other day I saw on, I don't remember if it was YouTube or TikTok or Instagram, but I saw someone say that necklaces were out <laughs> and earrings were in. Like they are disgusted. This is their words. They were like disgusted or revolted. Something very silly um, by necklaces and they only want to wear earrings. And to that I say, I am sick of y'all, okay? <laughs> I'm so sick of y'all. What do you mean necklaces are out? Ah, I feel like what they meant to say is that earrings are trending and not just any earrings, statement earrings. Not just any statement earrings, but earrings that look very much like they are from the 80s and 90s and are very much vintage inspired. Something perhaps, um, if you're an elder millennial or millennial in general, something that your mother or your grandmother would have worn. But yes, these from Anthropology are absolutely gorgeous. And yeah, I love that they are mixed metals because that's also very much on trend. Last week, somehow, I was wearing these sunglasses and I forgot to tell you guys where they're from because you know I will put everything in that description box and I just, I don't know how I missed this, these sunglasses. So the glasses I wore were Saint Laurent and I got them on a very good deal. I will put them in the description box this time, I promise. I was wearing the ones all the way to the left, but I also have the ones, no, I was wearing all the, the ones all the way to the right but I also have the black ones that are all the way to the left. I love them. They're a very easy indoor, outdoor type of sunglass. I found this website called Past Midnight and they have some really beautiful accessories. I'm not a huge silver person, but I love these in both gold and silver. Again, there goes that statement earring um, trend that we're talking about. This is very um, minimal very chic and yeah I love these just wanted to show you that and also from that same website they have these glasses now the ones all the way on the right are giving me Phoebe Philo Celine um, era um, and those glasses now you can find them but you're gonna spend upwards of seven to eight hundred dollars and I am absolutely not willing to do that for those sunglasses now you guys know that I have designer sunglasses and have paid a pretty penny but for several reasons, I will not be paying that much for those glasses. I do have a dupe actually from Amazon um, that I wear quite often, but I would love to have something a little more substantial. And if these are that option, I would love to have them. The other two glasses are extremely cool. They're kind of giving me Tom Ford vibes, but a bit cheaper. They're still over $100, don't get me wrong. They're not cheap, cheap, but they are very much giving me Tom Ford vibes and I love them. So I kind of have a feeling that I'm late to the party here. I saw these beautiful Coach Python bags and I almost put it in my cart. And then, because I thought it said $200 or $280 or $220, but upon closer inspection, I realized that it said $2,800 and $2,000. $200. Now, you guys know that I love a bit of luxury and I am not beyond spending thousands of dollars on a purse, much to my husband's chagrin, okay? But I have never fathomed paying that much for Coach. I'm sure it's that much because of the Python, but uh, I don't know, you guys. You let me know. Is that a lot of money? Um, for this brand and, and uh, I don't know it's it's probably a mental thing what do you think about this price tag for this beautiful bag and then I saw this version of the Giacomo's purse the clutch and I looked everywhere for it and I can't find it so I think there's a several different options one um, I'm late to the party and this has been out <laughs> that's why I can't find it two it's overseas and we just haven't gotten here yet in America or three 
this is this is not real but i'm not sure because i see it on tiktok and the person doesn't have much information about it have you seen this i know i have some uk girlies following me has anybody seen this i'm concerned that i that i haven't seen it in real life so these boots um very much are giving me kate vibes they look so much like the kate they're shaped the heel is shaped um very similar to the kate the pointy toe is shaped very similar to the kate and i i love them i talked about slattered in the last video um and that clutch that i got um that actually ended up coming in the mail as <laughs> as i'm wrapping this video up so i'll show it to you in the next video and yeah i think this is a good dupe. and in my opinion there's nothing like a beautiful linen suit this is h m so it is in fact linen blend but it's also a decent price you guys saw earlier in the video i got a um a beige one with some pinstripes this black linen blend blazer or suit is just as nice matching sets make getting dressed so easy especially when you are in the middle of a weight loss and things aren't fitting like you want them to fit and this is just chic you could wear a blazer over your shoulders you could wear this with sneakers kitten heels high heels flats um, and I kind of love this color. This color actually looks fairly decent on me. It's very similar to the color I'm wearing in the video, which I love on my complexion. And yeah, this bag is obnoxious. This bag is beautiful. <laughs> this bag is just overwhelming. And I don't know how I would wear that. No, I know how I would style it, but I don't know if it would help me um i don't know if i'll be able to wear this from day to day but it is beautiful to me the color is outstanding the size is beautiful it's real leather and i'm st it's taking everything in me not to buy this it's just obnoxious and fabulous and chic all at the same time all at the same time but these two are from cause these actually might be the collaboration with linda farrow and I, I think they're really cool. I like both of them for different reasons. I know that we haven't really been wearing oversized sunglasses, but I think these are cool. Please tell me what you think about the price of that coach bag. Let me know, are you wearing necklaces still? <laughs> what are you buying? What are you looking for? What are you interested in? Are you shopping for your spring wardrobe? Because I know I am very excited to get into spring. And yeah, guys, this is what I found this me. Anyway, you guys, that's it. Again, a very full jam-packed video <laughs> of fashion finds, recreating outfits, a little bit about fashion week, and my update on the red light therapy mask. I will say again that I love my ideal pieces. I'm going to wear them just like this for the rest of the day. In fact, I'm probably not taking them off this week. This is how I will be wearing it this week, just like this. Let me know if you have any pieces from my deal or what your favorite piece is. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in my next video.